Hey, today we're uh, back at the video blog where we help you make informed decisions and stay abreast of real estate news and trends. And today's topic is a clue report. Today's topic is a clue report. What the heck is a clue report? And to help me with that today is Chris Monahan. And Chris, before I um, ask you some questions on the clue report, I just want to draw the attention to the viewers to two links. What's my home worth? And they can click on that. And uh, what, uh, what homes are available for search? And you can click on that link to get that started. And Chris, we're really grateful to have you here today as an insurance expert. And how long have you been practicing insurance? Um, I've been involved with insurance for about 15 years now, 10 of which have been with Michigan Farm Bureau. Awesome. And uh, you probably have some creative stories. And yet today we're going to be talking about the Clue Report. So what is a Clue Report? So uh, the Clue Report or Comprehensive Loss Underwriting Exchange, uh, it's a valuable resource that's used in the insurance industry to ex uh, assess homeowners insurance risk. Um, the clue report shows the loss history of a property and the associated owner. And Chris, what's the use to me as a buyer first? And then I'm going to ask about a seller. What, why would I want to get a clue report? Well, so things like fire, water, weather, uh, other related claims show up on this report. Uh, and what it does for the insurance industry is it, it allows the underwriter to, uh, judge the risk of insurability and assist in determining uh, appropriate rates. Uh, but this is also uh, some important uh, information to have that's useful for a new home buyer. Um, and knowing the previous claims history on our property can help you make an educated decision on one of the most valuable uh, assets that you'll ever own. Right. Now, some people think that the disclosure statement has all encompassing information yet a property can carry a clue report for something that has happened that has nothing to do with the seller's disclosure. Is that correct? That is correct, yeah, because from my understanding, if a seller uh, fails to uh, disclose something that maybe happened a few years ago, uh, it is something that can show up on a clue report uh, and aid in that negotiation process. Uh, yeah, so an example comes to mind where a dishwasher leaked. That was a true fact. And when it leaked in the kitchen, then the water went to the basement ceiling and then into the basement. The question on the disclosure says, has the basement ever leaked? The basement never leaked. So the seller answered the disclosure correctly and they left off that the dishwasher leaked and everything was repaired by the insurance company. Yet the buyer found that out later and they thought there was deceit. And yet really the, the, the seller acted in good faith and disclosed everything that was asked on the disclosure. So I thought that was interesting. How far back do the um, claims go in time? So with a standard clue report, um, uh, it'll show claims dating back for about five years. Okay. And how can the consumer request a clue report? So basically there are two uh, options in terms of requesting uh, this report. Uh, the first one is you can reach out to the current owner and have them request uh, the report from their uh, insurance agent. And then they can then turn around and share it with you. Uh, the second option is to discuss the report with your own insurance agent because it is part of the underwriting process when quoting new homeowners insurance. Yeah. And what exactly am I going to find on this report? Well, again, things like if there were previous uh, fire related claims, water related claims, weather uh, damage, uh, all of those things can show up on this report. And can claims be made on the property and actually not have them show up on the clue report? Uh, typically that would not be the case. As long as the insurance carrier is accurate in their reporting, it would show up on that report. And a couple of other things that can be valuable to the viewers is a clue report can be requested in a sales agreement from the seller if the buyer wants to get a clue report directly as part of the offer. And Chris, what we do, we've worked together for a long time, 
it's one of the things that our value add is for the buyers. They can call you directly. And of course, you'll be grateful to give a, a quote on insuring that particular property. And this is free for the people when they call you from the TOTH team. Is that right? That is correct. Yeah, yes, it is. Uh, as I stated before, it is part of the underwriting process when we do new homeowners uh, insurance quoting. Yeah. And is there anything else you want to add to this discussion? No, I appreciate the opportunity and it's good to see you uh, again here. If you have any questions or uh, if you have clients that have any questions, uh, feel free to uh, call me anytime uh, and use me as a resource. You know, and one more question I just uh, came to mind is, how could a clue report be important to a seller? Well, I, I think uh, from a seller standpoint, knowing that claims history and accurately reporting that in any type of seller's disclosure is going to be beneficial to both parties uh, because in a situation where you're buying a property honesty is going to be the best uh, best course of action there right and especially when there's no claims on the property that's a valuable piece of information exactly. that maybe this property is not in a flood zone it's not in a hurricane zone because they don't have five new roofs on it you know what i mean so exactly. it could be valuable from a negotiating point of view that this property is uh, not creating hazards and yep. so chris for people who want to get a hold of you very slowly mm -hmm. what is your contact information so they can reach out to you well, you can always go on the web to uh, stadiuminsurance.com. Um, my office is available Monday through Friday. Uh, uh, you can reach our office at 734-332-0599. Uh, uh, or email directly at chris at stadiuminsurance.com. Great. And for all the people that are powered by Infinity and everybody here at the team, we want to let everybody know that we're always here to add value. And if you need any international referrals, because we can help you get an agent all over the world, please reach out. And if you have future topics, please reach out. 734-669-0337 or 866-OWN-THIS, 866-696-8447. And we appreciate you so much. And can we just give each other a big virtual hug? <laughs> Thanks so much, Chris. And we'll talk soon. Okay. Take care.